What's up everyone? I'm really glad you're all here today. It's been such a fun summer so far and we've got some more to come, as you're about to see. We're taking a closer look to see what it means to have faith. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Sometimes faith takes a little focus. We have to take a closer look at what we can see so we can know how to trust what we can't see. Speaking of what we can't see, I've got a great game today. We'll find out if Emily is brave enough to touch what she can't see. All right, Emily, you ready for this? I'm ready. Let's do it. Close okay. those eyes and I'll get the first uh, object. Okay. Keep those eyes closed. All right. All of a sudden I got a little nervous. All right, stick these in here. These. All right, exactly. and go for it. Wow, you really just went for it. Wait, why did I die? Okay, these feel like rawhide um, dog, like, treats. Like, pig skins? They're kind of fancy. Um, I wish I could smell it. No smelling. I, can I break it? Um, no. Don't break it. I... All, all I feel is like rawhide dog treats. Ew, they're sticky and like kind of greasy. All right, I think you That's got what it right. That's it is, right? Yep. Pig yes! Ears. Pig ears. I was good. Wait, can I look at it? Yeah, pig ears. <laughs> That's kind of gross. That's what they are, pig ears. That's 100% what they felt like. Clearly we buy our dogs dog treats. All right, I'm pretty proud of myself. All right, let's get the next one. Close your eyes. All right, ready? Yes. Here it comes. Showing them. Okay, go for it. All right. Ew. I don't like. What am I touching? I don't like this. Oh, ew! It's like in a plastic cup. I don't. I don't want to touch it. Ew! I don't like this. I don't like it. Ew, it feels like, oh, oh. Okay, that wasn't so bad, that really scared me. Any guesses? Well, I don't know what it's called, but it's like uh, those foam beads kind of sculpting Play-Doh thing. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that was really good. Cool. All right, you <laughs> can look at it now. Well, I want to play with it. Yeah, what color is it? Pink, blue, blue. All right, pretty I like fun, this. Pretty I'm fun. Keep this. All right, you keep that for now. Let's get the next All one. All right. Oh, <laughs> I think she's camera shy. Can you say hi? I think you're hungry. <gasps> Can you say hi? Her skin is the same color as your shirt. Oh, we're twinsies. <gasps> Ava, say hi. Oh, she's looking. Yeah, I love you. You want to keep looking? Okay. So, Daddy and I've got some work to do. Yeah. Okay. She's so cute. All right, we're back. Okay, can't wait to Let's see what's next. Close your eyes. I can't wait to not see what's next. All right, they're closed. Item number three. Are they showing the audience? Getting grosser and grosser. Is there like a not strategic order? Okay. No. All right, go for it. I'm like hesitant now. What is this? Oh, they're marshmallows. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, I thought that one was pretty easy. Okay. No, it's not. They're like a weird texture. At first I thought they were jello. You can open your eyes, but. <laughs> oh yeah. I should have said it out loud. I was going to guess that one was a pink marshmallow. It's like way harder yeah. than the other one. Yeah, it's weird, huh? Gross. All right. Yeah. You, uh, I'm surprised at how you've gotten every single one correct so far. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. What do you think of this one? Is it easy? I don't think you're going to guess this one. Ooh, okay. Challenge. All right. Ready? Go for it. 
<laughs> I have to be careful. Yeah. What in the world? It has hair. Ew. No, it's not hair. These are seeds. Seeds? What? Is it just one item? You're not making me touch mold, are you? Mold? I wouldn't make you touch mold. Um, this feels like something you just plucked out of our backyard. Oh, it's a toy spider. Let me count how many legs it has. What is this? No, a toy beetle? What? Um, I can't find a beginning and end or back or... Okay, so these are like... What? <clears throat> what is this? Um, one, two, three... One, two, it has six legs, so it's an insect. <laughs> an insect with a long nose? How is that possible? What is this? It's not a tail. It's a toy bug, right? Yeah, you're right. Wait, I don't have to close my eyes. It's in no. a box. I know. <laughs> have I kept my eyes closed the whole time? Yep. Oh my gracious. <laughs> All right, well, you got that one correct. Okay, let me see. <laughs> All right. Are you ready for the last one? Yes. <laughs> okay, close your eyes. And I can open them once I get my hands in the box. Oh yeah. my gosh. You ready? Close yes. Right. Show the audience. Whoa, whoa, Did whoa. you just spill something? I did spill it's... something. It's all right, it's not gonna give anything away. Alrighty. Um, you can open your eyes, don't look in the box. <laughs> You're good. I think I know what this one is. Oh, you did? Oh, gross. No, I don't. Okay, this is one of our, ew, what in the world? This is one of our bowls. This is disgusting. Oh, this is disgusting. It smells sweet. This is disgusting. I just did that to throw you off. It's, uh, ew. Just think what I've used olive oil for. What? This feels disgusting. What are these? These feel like what if I used slimy fish. What if I used olive oil for? <laughs> what? What do you use olive oil for? Put it in a bowl like that and I set it out back. No, that's, <laughs> that's terrible. That is terrible. <laughs> They're not earwigs. These would be, <laughs> that would be so gross. Okay. Well, I feel like they're like Swedish fish that have disintegrated. Am I right? No. No, you're wrong. Okay, wait, wait. No, you don't get it. No, yes, I do. Um, they definitely feel like fish, and I told you they smell sweet. They're slimy. They're slimy for sure. They have fins. You're getting a towel to wipe things up. That means it's gross. Okay, so I swear I feel a tail. They're really sweet. They're some sort of candy. They smell like sugar. Um, they're not Swedish fish. What are those sour candy, sour patch kids that have been soaking in water? <laughs> yep. I'm right. Yep. Yes. I'm good at this. All right. That's it. See you later. Eat it. No, that's disgusting. <laughs> that was hilarious. A little bit gross and maybe even a little scary. Who got a little more nervous for Emily with each item? But she pushed on and faced her fears. Well done, Emily. All right, let's celebrate our God and worship him together. He's always with us, even when we feel nervous or afraid. All right, everyone up on your feet, listen to these words from Psalm 46.1. God is our place of safety. He gives us strength. He is always there to help us in times of trouble. I'm so glad to know that God is always with us. Let's thank him for giving us courage. I will not fear I know the storms will come I know I'm not alone You are my strength so I will say You make me brave You give me courage I won't be afraid I won't even worry Cause you've got the whole world in your hands You fight for me You help me stand you
So good as always. You guys can go ahead and have a seat and let's see what's going on in the so-and-so show. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's a perfect shot. Just hold it right there. Whatever you're giving me. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Can I go get ready for the show now? No, 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 no. I'm still setting up the shot. Okay. Ooh, this looks good. Awesome. I've been standing here for 30 minutes, John. You can't rush I'm art, get, Brandon. Oh, we're making art now? When have we ever not made art? <sighs> here we go. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I got an idea. Okay. Ready? How much longer? Just hold still. Not much longer. Here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm going to zoom in. And then you're going to zoom out. You're going to zoom in. And then you're going to zoom out. And you're going to zoom in. Okay, I'm done. Then, I'm what? done. No. I'm done. Okay. Okay. That's fine. it. Fine. Fine. Go take a break. Just can you bring your stand in? Please? Yeah. Thank you. All right. That's great. That's great. All right. Stay right there. Stay right there. That's Why? Perfect. Not you. I'm talking to your stand-in. Oh. You are allowed to leave, man. <sighs> Actors. <laughs> Glad we got rid of that guy, right? Oh, wait. That's perfect. Just hold it right there. Okay. And then we zoom in. Oh, yeah. Look at those eyes. Then we zoom out, then we zoom in. Yes, we zoom out, and then we do a spin. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is great. We go faster, faster, faster. Oh. Cut. Hello everyone, welcome to the So-and-So Show. I'm Brandon. And I'm John Spiders. No. Horses. No. I nail, nails on a chalkboard. No, John. Look, John's trying to figure out what I'm afraid of. Nothing scares you. I, I can't think of anything. Sorry. What if your fingers suddenly turn into worms? Can't really picture that. Oh, here, I'll help. No, I think I'd actually find that pretty fascinating. <laughs> Anyway, have we got a great show for you today. The power okay. going out. Uh, uh, huh? No. Uh. Storms! Oh, no, I love thunderstorms. <laughs> Can we do the show now? Sure. All right, so today. What about Oreos that have earwax filling? Oh. I find that disgusting, but it's not scary. Oh, well, we'll see about that. Because it's time for a game I call Fear the Filling. Fear the filling. Here's how this game works. Someone has replaced the normally delicious filling from these Oreo cookies with a filling that may or may not be delicious. All we have to do is taste the Oreo and guess the right flavor. First one to guess two correctly wins the game. Unless, of course, you fear the filling. I don't think so. Let's play. That's great. Filling number one. Ooh, he's scared. No, I am terrified. Ooh. Oh, oh, it's gross. What is that? Oh. Yeah. It's sunscreen. Sunscreen? How do you know what sunscreen tastes like? I don't want my tongue to get sunburned. Okay. All right. Next filling. 
Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Ooh. Oh man, they're red. Mm. You scared? No. I want to run away screaming. Okay. <laughs> oh, hot, hot, ah. Strawberry? Mm. Uh, mm. Oh! No, no, it's some kind of hot sauce. Mm. Mm. No. Okay, fine. All right. Can oh. I have some milk, please? I got it right. Oh. Wasn't that hot? You gonna be okay? Thanks, Billy. All right. Oh, it's green. Yeah. No, Nick, don't touch that. It's green. Do you know what that could be? That could be some sort of dangerous mold or grasshopper guts or some sort of radioactive toxin. Don't touch it. I'm not afraid. No, don't, don't. Yeah, you You should you, be afraid. You I'm, no, 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 Brandon, no. No, 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 Brandon. Mmm, mint. Hmm. Guess I win. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys. What's up, Kellen? You got a story for us today? Is this segment called Bible discussion time with Kellen? No, it is not. Then yes, I've got a story. Oh, actually, Kellen, can I help tell the Bible story today? I have a feeling I can make it more scary. I mean, I can make it more cinematic, which would be really terrifying, gratifying to our viewing audience. You know, I'm a budding filmmaker, right? I've heard something of the sort. It's true. I'm trending on Twitter. Listen to what people are saying. My son, John, wants to be a filmmaker. Looks like he won't be moving out of my basement anytime soon. Hashtag retired mom problems. Boom. You know what? Sure, you can help. But do you mind if I do a little setup though? No problem. Okay. Sometime after Jesus died and when he came back to life, there was a guy named Saul who was going from place to place finding people who believed in Jesus and throwing them in jail. But when Saul was on his way to Damascus to arrest even more Jesus followers, he had a miraculous encounter with Jesus himself. Today's story picks up three days after that encounter. Saul has gone without food and drink for three days, and he has completely lost his sight. John, take it away. <laughs> All right. And action. In a land called Damascus. Stop. What, uh, what's that? A wolf. No wolves in Damascus. It's just setting the tone. Sure, but, but there were no wolves. Fine, in no wolves in Damascus. All right, easy fix. Action. In a land called Damascus, there lived an ordinary guy named Ananias. Did I say ordinary? Not so fast. God might have something to say about that. Ananias. Yes, Lord. Go to the house of Judas on Straight Street. Ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul. No! Scary, right? It's not too bad. All right. You asked for it. Lord, I've heard many reports about this Saul. He's come to Damascus to arrest your people, people like me. Surely you don't want me to go to him. Go! I'm just gonna cut in for a sec. That's true, God asked Ananias to go help out a man who should have been his enemy, so Ananias had every reason to be scared. Not sure if God's voice sounded like that, but I don't know for sure, so I'm gonna let that one slide. In any case, Ananias did what God told him to. John? Yep. <laughs> when God tells you to go, you go. Wow. 
what's with the fish? Because of the scales. The scales. Oh, 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 okay, fine. Carry on. Would Ananias let fear stop him from doing what God wanted him to do? Huh, Brother Saul, the Lord has sent me to you so you will be able to see. You will be filled with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Something like scales has fallen from your eyes. That's really great. Though, just in case you were wondering, Saul probably didn't have fish on his face. Just trying to be biblically accurate, Kellen. Yeah, so Ananias helped Saul see again. And I'm telling you, Saul was a completely different human being after that. He got up, he got baptized, and after he got his strength back, he started telling everyone he could that Jesus was the Son of God, which goes to show you, when you go and- Wait, 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 Kellen, the story isn't over yet. You have more. Oh, yeah. This is the really scary, I, 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 mean, I mean, really emotionally moving part coming up. Oh, boy. Saul used to terrify followers of Jesus. Now, it was his turn to be terrified. Saul, you're in danger. Some bad people are going to try and kill you. You have to leave the city. No! Mystery, intrigue, a midnight rescue through a hole in the city wall. Would Saul be safe at last? No. Come on! Shipwrecks, prison, unimaginable persecution. What are you, a mannequin? This man would face trials of these kinds and more for the rest of his life. Saul, who is also called Paul, coming soon. Or is it? Now you're scared, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, a little. Ha! If I follow Jesus, does that mean I'm gonna face trials like Saul for the rest of my life? Ha! I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. Bad stuff is going to happen, and there's gonna be plenty of stuff for us to be afraid of. But here's the good news. When you follow Jesus, you've got someone who's, who's gonna be there to help you face those fears. So sure, Saul went through some stuff, and we're gonna go through some stuff too. But it's not like you have to go through it alone. God will be with us. I feel better already. <laughs> Great. Thanks for your help today, John. Yeah, you're welcome. Hey, let's do it again next week. I mean, that would be terrifying. Uh, I mean, I can't think of another word. Bye. Later, Kellen. Man, I thought my version of the Bible would totally scare you. Sorry, I wish I could help you. I, I just don't know what I'm afraid of. Oh. Well, hey, in that case, reveal the question! Oh, what are you afraid of? Are you afraid of making new friends? Mm, yeah, or are you afraid of missing the bus and having to walk to school and then you can't decide if you should cut through old Farmer Ben's cornfield because that would be faster if his dog Dragon is asleep or if you should take the long walk along the road even though you'll definitely be late and you're paralyzed with indecision and you end up missing the entire day of school but you don't realize you've missed the entire day of school until the bus comes back to the very same spot that afternoon to let your friends off from school. Or maybe you're afraid of snakes. <laughs> yeah, talk about it with each other. What are you afraid of? And we'll see you next time on... The So-and-So Show! I I'm always afraid I'll never get to say that at the end. Bye! So-and-So Show! What, you get to say it a lot. <laughs>from the beginning of time god has always been there to help his people from the very first people he created through bringing his people into the promised land and then sending jesus at just the right time 
God has always kept his promises. Because he sent Jesus, we know we can trust him no matter what. Ananias was brave enough to obey God and visit Saul, even though he had heard all about what Saul had done before. Barnabas was brave enough to speak up for Saul and to help the leaders in Jerusalem trust him. Saul was brave enough to speak up about Jesus, even though he knew not everyone would be happy about it. All of these believers knew Jesus. That's why they had such incredible courage. And that's what brings us to our bottom line for this week. Knowing Jesus can help you face your fears. Let's say that together on the count of three. One, two, three. Knowing Jesus can help you face your fears. Even when you're afraid, remember that God is with you. Even though you can't see him, you can trust him. He can give you the strength to do something you're scared to do. Maybe you're afraid to tell the truth because you're worried you'll get in trouble. Or you might be afraid to be kind to someone who hasn't been nice to you in the past. It's normal to be worried about something like that. And you should definitely be careful if you don't trust someone. But at the same time, knowing Jesus can help you face your fears and give someone a chance. And here's another cool thing. Not only do we have our relationship with Jesus to help us face our fears, but when you put your trust in Jesus, you also have the helper that Jesus promised, the Holy Spirit. We'll talk more in small group about what it looks like to face your fears. All right, guys, our first activity is called Fear Takes Flight. What you'll need is a small, shallow bowl of water, a small bar of soap, and some black pepper. This one is kind of like a science experiment. Let's get started. First, pour the pepper over the water in the middle of the bowl. The pepper should all stay in one place on the surface of the water. Then, take your soap and gently dip one end of the soap into the water in the middle of the pepper and watch what happens. The pepper will move away from the soap. You can gently move the soap near the pepper and watch how it moves away. That's pretty cool. I think it says something important about faith. A lot of times when we're afraid, it feels like fear is everywhere like the pepper. But when we have faith and trust in God's plan, the faith drives away the fear like the soap moves the pepper. I don't know exactly what you're afraid of, but it's okay to be afraid. You know what? I'm afraid sometimes too. I'll even tell you what I'm afraid of. Speaking in public, especially when I have to talk in front of a lot of people. Sometimes on Sunday mornings, I go up on stage in the big church and I welcome everyone to church. Not many people know, but before I go up, I am so nervous and scared. But guess what? Faith helps us see that fear isn't overwhelming. I can choose to trust in God and have faith that He is going to be there with me. So, next time you wash your hands, take a bath, or need to add some spice to your mac and cheese, look at the soap and pepper and remember that knowing Jesus can help you face your fears. Faith reminds us that there is no fear bigger than Jesus. Our next activity is called Faith Rocks. What you need is a small rock, about the size of your fist, a permanent marker, and your Bible. So what you're gonna do is open your Bible to Hebrews 11.1 1, and read it out loud. It says this, Faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. After you read that, Take the marker and write Hebrews 11.1 1 on one side of the rock. You don't have to write the whole verse out. You can just write the book, chapter, and verse reference. After you do that, flip the rock over and write faith on the other side. Then, you can decorate the rock however you'd like.
We're all afraid of something, and that's okay. It's normal to be afraid sometimes. But we made these rocks to remind us that knowing Jesus can help you face your fears. Where can you guys put this rock at home to remind you to have faith when you're afraid? Maybe by your bed at night, you know, maybe if you're afraid of the dark, or near your homework area for fear of failure, um, or outside in the garage for fear of, I don't know, riding your bike or accidents, or on your kitchen table where you'll see it at breakfast. I'm sure you'll think of a great place. But we can have faith that God is bigger than any fear. He proved it when he sent Jesus to beat sickness and accidents and even death. Faith reminds us that God will be with us no matter what, even when we're afraid. All right, guys, well, that's it. I hope you've had a lot of fun. Let's close in some prayer. Dear God, we just thank you so much for sending Jesus to be our Savior, Father. And Lord, we just thank you that we can have faith and trust in him no matter what, God, even when we're afraid. Lord, we know that we can have faith and not let fear take over. And we just love you so much, God. Let us just have a great day today and a great week, Father. Keep us safe and protected. And we love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys. Well, that's it. We love you. Have a great day. Bye. I guess since we have these dog treats that Emily tried to figure out what they were, we can give them to my dogs. <laughs> Sit. 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 Good boys. One for you and one for you. Enjoy, guys.